In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to get Apple Intelligence on your iPhone. Now, the first thing you need to know before you try and get Apple Intelligence is this works, or rather Apple Intelligence is compatible with iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 15 Pro Max, and the iPhone 16 models. It will not be compatible with all the iPhones, okay? And also the 15s will not be compatible, just 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max and then the iPhone 16s, all the iPhone 16s. Next thing to ensure is that you are running iOS 18.1. So if you go into settings, so go back to the main settings page, go to general, tap on that, and then go to software update, tap on that, and make sure you're running iOS 18.1. Okay, now, if you're not running 18.1, just go ahead and check if there's an available update and update your iPhone. So after you've updated to iOS 18.1, you can now go into settings and in the settings page, you'll now see Apple intelligence and Siri. So, Tap on that and then to activate Siri, the language for Siri requests has to be in English United States, at least for now. They might update it down the line in future, but for now you have to set the Siri requests language to English. So just go to the language and then choose English United States. It won't work, it won't work with any other English, it has to be English United States. So choose that and then go back and then tap on change language. That's going to change the language. And then now you'll see the option to join the Apple intelligence waitlist. So go ahead and tap on that. And then it's gonna give you this uh, Apple intelligence. So you're basically requesting to join the Apple intelligence waitlist so that the Apple intelligence files necessary for Apple intelligence are, are downloaded onto your iPhone. So just tap on join waitlist. And then once you do that, Anytime from now, you should get a confirmation that you've been enrolled in Apple Intelligence. So for now, we just wait. It might take an hour, it might take a day. I'll let you know how long it takes once mine is accepted. So it took about 30 minutes for me for Apple Intelligence to be ready. And you'll notice the join button is now a turn on Apple Intelligence button or link. So tap on that. And then you'll see Apple Intelligence and you can see what it does. So time to experience the new personal intelligence system. It's going to do writing and summarization, which will basically enhance your writing and summarize notifications, mail, messages, and more. Then you have the start of a new era for Siri. And it says Siri is more natural, contextually relevant and personal to you. Of course, we're going to be testing that in subsequent videos. And then this is built for privacy and it says powerful intelligence without sharing your data with Apple. Okay, so tap on continue. And then you can see the summary for all that. So it can summarize notifications for you. And let's see what that looks like. So choose notification to summarize. So if you tap on that, it can summarize uh, communication uh, messages, it can summarize apps, news and entertainment. But for now, I'm just going to choose none just because I still don't know how it works. I'm going to test it out first. So I'll select do not summarize notifications. And then you have Siri, just tap on continue. Of course, it's going to guide you on how to use Siri. It's the same old long press on the side button to use Siri. So I'll just tap on continue. And then of course you can type to Siri this time. Okay. Now with Apple intelligence, you don't have to choose between talking to Siri and typing to Siri like we used to, or like it's been for previous versions of Siri. With Apple Intelligence, you can have both talk to Siri and type to Siri on and enable at the same time. You just have to activate it differently. And I'll show you how to do that. So it's going to test Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. 
Siri, play some music. So basically, that's all you need to do to uh, set up Siri. It's trying to recognize your voice all over again. So tap on continue. And then now we have the Apple intelligence button enabled. And that is basically how to set up and get Apple intelligence on your iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro. Now, obviously, I'll be making subsequent videos on this. If you want to turn it off, you can always turn it off from here. But I'll be making subsequent videos on how to use the different features of Apple intelligence. So make sure you stay subscribed and uh, stay tuned so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and good luck.